a translate word problem question. We know that because it is over four lines long. So I'm going to read this question one sentence at a time and make sure that I write down any quantitative information and any other relevant information. So the question says, during an experiment, the number of phytoplankton in a population doubled each day. Okay, so 2x per day. That's my translation. There were 300 phytoplankton at the start of the experiment, so 300 to start. Which function represents the population size P of X? So P of X, X days after the start of the experiment. Okay, so then we want those 300 phytoplankton to become 600 phytoplankton after just one day, so X equals one. So what did I do? I took this, this information and I said, well, I might be able to figure out the right answer. I have an inkling of what the right answer is here and some of the things, some of the answer choices that don't make any sense here. But to make this even more real to myself, I can just say, well, if I'm starting with 300 and I know I double every day and I know that X represents the number of days, then which equation allows me to plug one in for X and I get 600 out because I know that's what I expect. I could even take that one step further and say, I'd expect when X equals two that I'm at 1200, right? Because I double from this point. So let's actually use this one because I prefer to use x equals 2 versus x equals 1. So when I plug x equals 2 into here, is it true that 2 to the 300 times 2, which would be 2 to the 600 power, is that true that that equals 1,200? No, it's not. So A is gone. Is it true, right? Again, I plug 2 in for that x there. Is it true that 300 to the fourth power equals 1,200? No, it is not. Is it true that two times 300 to the second power, right? So 300 to the second power times two is equal to 1,200. Nope, that is not true either. And is it true that 300 times, what, two squared would be four? So 300 times four equals 1,200. Yes, that is true. And that's why choice D is the correct answer here, All right? So... You know, you may have been able to spot that right away without doing any of this work that I did. But really, I made this video for people who see these types of answer choices and it kind of, you know, makes them a bit anxiety, have a bit of anxiety and not really know what to do. We can always kind of plug our own number in. Right. So in essence, I'm using this strategy, plug in my own number, but I'm using this based upon what the question gave me. Right. So I know that when X equals one. I should get to 600. And I know when X equals two, right, day two, I should double again and get to 1200. And I just use that information to plug into the answer choices in order to figure out the right one.